Hello friends, welcome back and this is Farah Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master. And in today's Excel video, we are going to learn how to convert the data to Excel tables. Excel tables are really powerful in Excel, my friends. So if you have been not using them, I would recommend you to start using them. And to know more in detail about Excel tables, you can check my previous video and the link is in the below video description. So let us begin and see over here. And this is my workbook. And in this workbook, we have the sales data for the month of January, February and March. And to convert them into the Excel tables, we would need the help of the VBA. So don't worry, my friends, we are not going to write any code. And if you have guessed me right, we are going to use the help of the macro recorder and we are going to write that code. You just need to know some logic so that we can adjust the logic and it can run to the entire workbook. So before we begin, just make sure that my friends, your data is consistent like how we have over here for January and February. In case of March, we have an empty column and an empty row. So I'll just delete them because I just want to make my code very simple. So I'll just delete it and here we go and delete. Okay, and we are going to go to our sheet one and we are going to go to developer tab. In case if your developer tab is not activated, you have to just right click, customize ribbon and you just need to enable it by just checking this box. And for my friends, those who are using the Mac system, you just need to go to the preference ribbon and then activate the developer tab. So we will click on record macro. Okay. Once you click on record macro, it will ask you to give your macro a name. So we are going to write a nice name called convert data to tables. I can just give a nice shortcut key also over here and we are not going to save it in our personal macro. We're just going to make it in this workbook. You can even give the description for this macro, but for the time being, we are just going to say it okay so we got this message over here my friends because my file extension is in xls x format which is a non macro enable format i need to make sure that my file is saved in a macro enable format and we are quickly going to see this later on so i'll first select my sheet over here okay and then i'm going to select this range i'm going to say Control shift down and control shift left wonderful i'll go insert and tables and i'm going to say yes my table has headers this is what we need to do now we are going to stop the recorder i can stop the recorder from here and even i can go to the developer tab and say stop recording wonderful so once we are done over here i'm just going to go to my table design and I'm going to convert this to the range because I don't want it now to get converted to Excel table. So we will open the Visual Basic and in the Visual Basic, we'll go to the module. And once you double tap the module, you will see the entire code has been written by Excel for you. So we are just going to quickly see the steps, what it has done. So let me restore this window down so that we can see that, okay, what is the process going on? So first thing what we have selected that we have selected the sheet and then it has selected the range and then the range has been gone down and then it has added the list object. So the entire stuff from here to here, we need to put it in a for loop. Great. So what we are going to do, we are just going to put a for loop, but we need to make sure that whenever it gets select the sheet, the sheet should not be always 2019 because we have other sheets as well over here, that sheet two, sheet three and if you see over here, we have the sheet index number. Okay, so every time we have to call this sheet as one. So sheet dot one. And now in the for loop, we are going to count those sheets and we have to do this loop on all the sheets. So for I is equal to one, two sheets dot count. So it will count the sheets. And I have to just make sure that my loop is closed here. Next, I. And this code is not required over here because you're not doing anything about cut, copy, paste. And this is very important one. Yes, this is the one. So activate sheet list dot object add. And we are just going to remove it from here. That is the step where the table has been generated. And we would like to have the name. So the name should be exactly the same name of the active sheet what we have. So we are going to say active sheet dot name. That looks wonderful. Okay, that's that's cool. 
and uh, we would not need even this step as well so let us quickly see our step okay i for it okay i count okay i need to activate that sheet that is very important okay sheets bracket i okay dot activate that's cool so my sheet is activated and it's in this range and we will be gluing it excel down because we are going to select the range down and we are going to select the range right and then we are going to call this list dot object which will convert it into the table and we are going to give the name as well but now here my friends in case if you have that list object already in your excel file then it will throw you an error so to handle that my friend i'm going to write a very simple if statement and i'm going to count whether the object is available or not so i'll just simply copy this step object control c and i'm going to say if the active sheet dot object dot count is less than one then you take this action else and if so this code looks good now okay so that's that's better so let us see it again okay super cool my friends so our code is ready now and we are ready to execute it so let me close this and uh, we'll see our sheets those are not yet converted anything into the tables so i'm going to just cross my fingers go developer now this time macro and i'm going to say run bingo wow this is super cool my friends super duper cool so all my data into excel has been converted to the excel tables so let us see the january data okay it's in january over here and february and march and even you can see it has been nicely named them the table names has been properly been picked up as per the sheet and this is cool now let me show it to you the one which i was showing over here and if i run this thing again run the code again the macro it shouldn't throw me at the error because already the tables are been over here so in case if that step was not there the validation step which i showed it to you over here uh, let us open it this step the validation this is a validation step if this is not there then it will throw you an error and i'll just quickly show it to you that how it will throw the error let's say macro run see it has given the table cannot be overlap on another table so this is a very important step so don't miss it by the way the soft copy of this excel file will be available on my facebook group page so you can download there from there and even you can copy this code and paste it in your personal macro workbook so that will allow you to use it n number of time irrespective of whatever the workbook you're using it so one last thing before we end this video my friends we have got an error for save as an excel ms the macro enable workbook you have to go to save as and in save as you just need to change the extension and you need to put the extension as xlsm so whenever you use this workbook the code will be always there if you save it in xls then the code will be no more in that workbook so just save it in xlsm and we will hit save and i hope my friends you have enjoyed this video so please push a like button share this video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon you know why for the latest updates yes Signing off for the day, your friend Farah Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master. See you soon. Happy learning.